Hello, uh, welcome to Creating Content. Um, uh, welcome everybody. Um, I'm going to list some um, shows and I want you to give me um, a smiley face or a thumbs up when I reach one that you like, okay? Uh, Shit's Creek, Waiting for Guffman, Any Film by Buster Keaton, The Carol Burnett Show, and the movie Beaches with Bette Midler. Okay, so what do those have in common? All of those have in common actors who in some way created their own content. And that is the topic for today's live discussion, creating your own content. I'm Stephen Foster, author of Awakening the Actor Within, and the tools that I'm going to give you today are taken from my book in helping you to create your own unique and special content. Um, in addition to doing all the stuff that uh, actors are supposed to do, going on auditions, uh, uh, doing their headshots and all their other work, uh, this is a special part of my book and what I teach is creating your own content. Okay, and I'm going to give you a little backstory about um, creating content and why it's so important. Um, when I was um, in college, I did not get cast in the role of, uh, for Billy Bibbit, the role of Billy Bibbit in One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. And it sort of shook me up a little bit and um, made me doubt my whole ability um, to act. And so I just, at that time, um, I had said, well, you know, since I'm not being cast in anything, I might as well write a play. And I had read so many plays in college and high school um, be, b preparing to be an actor, and I'd read hundreds of plays, literally. And so I just jumped in and I started to write plays. And the first plays I wrote were kind of about my friends and my family. And um, it eventually um, evolved into a sort of a, a sort of a side job in um, addition to acting, and um, and then what happened is I ended up uh, writing co-writing a play called Demon Analysis uh, with my friend Scott Wilkerson, and that actually gave me so much power because at that point I was a blocked actor. And I mean, what I mean by that is I was not acting and I had not acted in about three years and I was sort of on the fence of whether I should ever do it again. Um, and he sort of tricked me back into acting and uh, we produced and wrote and directed a show called Demon Analysis. And then I started on my journey as to become a real actor. And then what happened is um, through that, um, people started writing stuff for me. I kept writing stuff for myself and producing stuff for myself. I wrote a play called Legends and Bridge, Attitudes in the Dance. Uh, I wrote screenplays. Uh, all of those were the intention to help me build a body of work because in addition to your acting, you're also trying to build up a body of work as well. And um, so what happened in the middle of, of this is uh, Scott, uh, Wilkerson wrote a play called Seven Dreams of Falling, and he wrote a part for me. And then uh, my partner Chuck wrote a part in That's Opportunity Knocking for me. And I ended up winning um, five Best Supporting Actor awards. Now, that is this is not to uh, sort of give me a big head or anything. I just wanted to tell, show you the evolution of how writing and acting have sort of weaved themselves through my life and have given me a career in addition to all the stuff that I've booked that's been more commercial and, and all that. Um, so the power of creating your own content is something that will give you extreme power in this business. Uh, because if you dig a little deeper into a lot of people, a lot of actor, famous actors careers, you will see that not only do they go out and act in anything that they can get in, but they also develop and have material that is written for them. And I'm in that lucky position now of where I actually do have people writing material for me and I write my own material and I can produce my own material. So 
I have a question for you. Do you have an idea of some kind of content that you can create for yourself? I'm just going to throw that out there and answer the question in, in the comments and then I'll come back and check them um, later. So the power of creating your own content is actually something that every actor um, could be working on in addition, like I said, to going on auditions and getting an agent and all that other acting stuff. Um, if you find yourself, let's say, for example, going on an a lot of auditions and not booking or booking a lot of stuff that you're not happy with as an actor, it might be of your, in your best interest to actually um, learn how to create your own content. And it'll also give you power and strength as an actor and also as a person as well. And I just want to segue here for just a minute to tell you um, the industry now with it being closed down and everything is going to um, self-tape and uh, self-taping, which to me is almost like actors having to make their own film. So you might as well get used to it and you might as well just start uh, practicing um, creating your own content. In fact, um, one of my students uh, reached out to me and asked me if I would help him with an audition this week. And I said, sure, as long as I can film it because I can use that as material. And it was also good practice for me as well to get in the habit of self-taping um, myself. So that is the new trend uh, for the industry is for you to self-tape. And so you might as well make stuff that you are extremely proud of and stuff that you actually control because once you have um, material, once you have created your own material, what you're going to find is it actually gives you creative equity. And that means it gives you something that you can uh, show to people. It gives you, um, it, it actually creates a sense of, of a monetary um, situation as well because in the case of, let's say, our musical, The Green Room, I actually licensed that and it, it becomes sort of a money-making thing for me. I'm not saying that you're going to make a million dollars on this stuff, but you can because a screenplay or a script that you write can actually be turned into um, creative equity. And also that's with anything that you um, make as an actor. It can actually be turned into creative equity. Okay, so there are two types, two types of, um, of content that you could ideally create for yourself. And I'm gonna break them down here. Uh, one is a monologue and the second is um, a scene. Um, and the way I always approach it is I use the tools in my acting book, uh, two of the main tools, um, and I'm gonna explain them here, and then uh, then I'll tell you how to use them. Uh, the first tool that I um, have actors do that's really beneficial to sort of digging up for um, uh, their own content is a, a practice called I Remembers. And what that is, that's a writing exercise, and what you do is every day you write um, one page starting with the sentence, I remember, and just going back to that sentence, I remember, um, you know, you can say, I remember my grandmother, I remember um, how she was called Tiger, um, I remember how uh, they lived on Dora Street. So it's basically a collection of, of remembrances, and they don't always have to be on the same topic. In fact, it's better if they're not on the same topic. And what you're doing is you're digging your life for things that are, are interesting to you or stories that you might have forgotten and in those you're going to find content <laughs> believe me you will find content within a week of doing those um, the second tool that i always uh, tell people to use in creating their own content is script reading the weekly script reading uh, what you want to do is you want to read a script every week um, and what this does is this shows you the structure of scenes um, that you're trying to write. Um, so I'm going to ask you, um, any of you who've done I Remembers, do you have a specific I Remember 
that you like. And then I'll ask the same question about script reading. Have you read a script that you really love? And by looking at those two things, you will be able to find some content within that for yourself. Um, okay, so the two tools um, used in combination will help you create content. Um, now, the other, the first one that I mentioned was the, um, the monologue, creating monologues. You can create a monologue from one I remember exercise. You can actually take an I remember that you like and you can create a monologue. Now that monologue can be used on stage. It can be used um, as a sitcom. It can be used in a screenplay. Um, it can be used in any way to create a specialized monologue for yourself or you, if you're working in a group, you can actually write an I remember for for someone and hand it over to someone for and give them the monologue and they can give you their I remember and it could be a monologue for you. So that's one way to create content is creating monologues. And in the book in week six, I actually have an example of what a monologue is uh, that you can use from your life. Now you don't have to always keep to the facts when you create this content. It can be parts of your life, you can change the names, you can change the situations, but the heart of it will be yours because it's something that you have written. And once again, remember that is the the crux of what I teach is making everything in your acting very personal to you. And and that actually gives you power as an actor. Okay, now the next thing that you wanna do is you wanna create scenes um, from your I remembers. And that, I go over that in week seven. Um, so look at chapters, um, chapter six and chapter seven for this material. Um, what you want to do is you want to create two character scenes to begin with, to play with, and get together with with friends and tape them. And you don't have to have big fancy lights or equipment. You can actually use your iPad. You can use your iPhone. In fact, there are um, film festivals now that are set up for people who make content with their cell phones and with their devices. Isn't that a great thing? So check out Film Freeway and you can find all kinds of festivals that you can submit stuff to. But in the beginning, just use them, use the two character scenes um, as practice and film them. And that way you get in the habit of knowing your own material and creating your own unique voice. Because I'm telling you, if you write daily and you create content on a regular basis, you're actually going to create a strong sense of personality and a strong sense of yourself. Um, so those are the two ways to actually get in and actually create content. And the other thing is, is don't be too worried about putting it out on the internet and all that because you can always you can always delete it and you can always get better. And remember. What I teach in acting practice is all about doing stuff without worrying about it being perfect. Doing stuff just to do it. And um, if you get together and you work with other people in tandem with uh, these tools, you both will actually benefit um, because you're actually listening to other people's um, work and getting ideas from them. Um, you know, some of the best work I've done is with um, other actors and other writers and creating content for each other. In fact, sometimes I will write something based on someone that I've met or so I don't even have to know them really well, but they'll trigger something within me that inspires me to write or a line. I'll hear a line like I I heard a line in the um, in the Vienna airport. Uh, this lady uh, was just a wild card, and she said something that's still in my mind, and um, that I'm going to use in a script um, a little later. But it hones your listening ability when you work with other actors and you write with them. 
Um, now, so the big challenge that I'm going to give you this week, um, and it's a big one, and I want you to create one unique piece of content that is yours, and I want you to share it on my group page. Um, it can be a monologue, it can be a scene, but I would love to see what you guys actually come up with. Um, so that is the uh, task for for this week, um, and um, and you know, and you can also do these things. You don't have to be with someone. In do them on Zoom. Send someone your scene. Uh, send someone from the group. Say I'm looking for a scene partner, and create a scene. You do one scene and then flip it around and then you do their scene. You do your scene, then you do their scene. And you will find that this unique content will actually build over time. And you'll actually get better at it. You'll get better at filming it. You'll get more comfortable writing it. You'll get better acting at it because it'll be unique and interesting material for you. Um, and, and like I said, it'll also make you a better actor because when you actually look at material, when you go on auditions, you'll be able to more clearly identify the beats and the characters that resonate with you. So every single time you engage in writing your own material or creating content, you're actually empowering yourself as an actor and remember that's the that's the hub of what I teach is actor empowerment now that doesn't mean that I don't teach go out I'm going to teach you how to go out and and book auditions in five steps because I don't believe that that's ever possible I believe that it all depends on the individual and the individual actor okay so that's my spiel on um, creating your own content I hope you all take the challenge of actually uploading something this week. That would be so fun to watch. Um, and join me here, same time next week, and I'm going to talk about building a character um, from the ground up. And if you have questions about um, how to build a character, give them to me, and I'll try to answer them in next week's uh, Facebook Live, okay? Thank you guys for tuning in, and you guys have a great week, and stay safe out there. Bye.